Now in today's class, I'm going to solve a question from complex number. The question is find the number of the roots of this equation with the negative real part. So equation is z raised to power 10 minus z raised to power 5 minus 992 is equal to 0. Now you can think that this is a quadratic because if you take z raised to power 5 as x, then this equation is x square minus x minus 992. So one of the factors will be x minus alpha, other factor will be x minus beta, kind of like that. Now let's think about the factors. So factors, I think the factors will be close to 30 because 30 into 30 is 900 and you will get two numbers. Their difference is minus 1 and the product is minus 992. And one of the numbers will be negative, one of the numbers will be positive according to the sign I'm saying. So it's very easy to find the factors. So one of the factors will be z raised to power, you can say 5 minus 32. Another will be z raised to power 5 minus and then plus 31 here because one of them is, must be positive, it is equal to 0 and the difference should be minus 1. That's why it is minus 32 here. So let's start with this part z raised to power 5 minus 32. So let me do the partition. Let's start with z raised to power 5 is equal to 32. So I can write this as z is equal to the fifth root of 32 here. So fifth root of 32, I can write this as 2 multiplied by 1 and fifth root of 1 unity, as you can see here. Now, I'm going to use De Morby's theorem. I'm going to write this as e raised to power. I can write 1 as e raised to power iota 2 and pi because I can write this as cos e raised to power iota theta can be written as cos theta plus iota sine theta. So I can write this as 1 as 2 raised to power iota and pi here and whole raised to power 1 by 5 here. Now here z will be equal to 2 into e raised to power iota 2 and pi divided by 5 here. Now here according to De Morby's theorem n varies from 0 to 4 here because I am taking the fifth root. After 4 the roots will be repeating. Now what I want? I want the number of real roots with the negative real part. So there is no need to calculate the root actually. All we have to do is we have to check the real part of z. Now in order to take, check the real part of z, I am going to take the real part of this. So real part of this will be 2 times cos of, can I say 2 and pi divided by 5. So here the real part will be cos 2 and pi divided by 5 multiplied by 2. Now we have to comment only on whether it's a negative or not. So negative or positive. So we are looking for negative real part of the root. So negative real part will be decided by cos here. And all I have to do is I have to check the quadrant. If our quadrant is second and third quadrant, then the real part of the root will be negative because it is associated with cos and cos gives you negative in only in second and third quadrant. So all I have to do is I have to check that 2 and pi divided by 5, whether this is in third quadrant or second quadrant or not. So let's start with n is equal to 0. So for n is equal to 0, the angle is 0. So I think it's, it's rejected completely. Let's start with n is equal to 1. The angle will be, I'm just writing the angle 2 pi by 5. Now n is equal to 2, we'll get the angle as 4 pi by 5 here. Similarly, n is equal to 3, we'll get 6 pi by 5. And n is equal to 4, we'll get this as 8 pi by 5 here. Now for your reference, I'll write the angles as in the terms of, uh, let's say start with, let's start with pi by 2. So pi by 2, I can write this in the terms of pi by 5. So we are writing in the denomination of pi by 5, so that easily I can make out in which quadrant we are. So multiply by 2.5, we'll get 2.5 pi divided by 5 here. Similarly, pi, 90 to 180. So I can write this as 5 pi by 5. I'm writing each and every angle in the denomination of pi by 5 so that we can get to know easily. Similarly, 3 pi by 2, I can write this as 7.5 pi by 5. And then next is 2 pi. 2 pi, I can write this as 10 pi divided by 5. Now let's check. Uh, whether the real part is negative or not according to the quadrant. So first one is clearly rejected. The next one, 2 pi by 5. So 2 pi by 5, see we are having here 2 and 2 is less than 2.5. And that means we are less than, we are having less than angle 90 here, as you can see. So this is also rejected because we are in first quadrant only. Let's concentrate on 4. So 4 is lesser than, you can say 4 is greater than 2.5. But 4 is lesser than 5. So that means we are in second quadrant. Yes, this will be negative. So in n is equal to 2, the real part of the root will be negative. Similarly, let's focus on 6 next. So 6 is greater than 5 and less than 7.5 here. And that means we are in third quadrant. So this is also rejected. Next, 8 pi 
by 5. So 8, 8 is greater than 7.5. That means we have we have left the third quadrant, we enter into fourth quadrant. So fourth quadrant cost will be positive. So this is rejected. So in this first case, then out of this five roots of z raised to power 5 is equal to 32, only two are there, which is having negative real part. Let's focus on z raised to power 5 plus 31 is equal to 0 in the next part. Now let's start with z raised to power 5 plus 31 is equal to 0. So z raised to power 5, I can write this as minus 31. Let me do the partition here. Now, uh, z raised to power 5, I can write this as minus 31 raised to power, and then you can write fifth root of minus 31. And I can write this as minus 30, or I can write this as 31 fifth root, and then minus 1 times fifth root of this. Now, again, I'm going to apply De Morbis theorem here, and I'm going to write this as z as 31 fifth root, and then minus 1, I'm writing this as e raised to power iota 2n plus 1 pi here and then whole raised to power 1 by 5 z will be equal to 31 raised to power 1 by 5 and e raised to power iota 2n plus 1 pi divided by 5 why i have written 2n plus 1 because see we want odd multiple of pi here cos is negative minus 1 and then sign of any multiple of pi will be 0 here now n will vary from here 0 to because we are taking the fifth root now let's write the angles for n is equal to 0 the angle will be here clearly visible pi by 5 here now for n is equal to 1 the angle is I think it is 3 pi by 5 for n is equal to 2 the angle is you can say here it is 5 pi by 5 that means pi only and n is equal to 3 the angle is 7 pi by 5 and n is equal to 4 the angle is you can say 9 pi by 5 here. Now again I'm going to write the angles in the denomination of pi by 5 here. Now the angles are present in denomination of 5 that is 90, 180, 270 and 360 here. Now one more thing I forgot to write that is the real part of z was equal to 31 raised to power 1 by 5 and then cos of you can write 2n plus 1 divided by 5 into pi. Here. So this is the real part of this. And what we are looking for this real part to be negative that should be in second and third quadrant so let's identify the quadrants here immediately we'll get to know so first one is clearly rejected second one is accepted because this is 3 is greater than 2.5 so that means we have entered into second quadrant that is acceptable here we'll get a negative real part let's focus on this 5 so 5 i think we are in second quadrant so this is acceptable here next is 7 so we are less than we are having less than 7.5 that means we are still in third quadrant so this is also accepted now next is 9 so 9 is greater than 7.5 here that means we have entered into fourth quadrant so this is not acceptable the real part will be positive so from the second case i got the how many roots three roots i got which is having negative real part and from the first case i got two so in total our answer is there are total five roots which are having negative real part so answer is five and that will be all